the nerve supply of these muscles out of the superficial muscles, the pronator teres, flexor carpi radialis, palmaris longus, flexor digitorum superficialis, all these are supplied by the median nerve. Only flexor carpi ulnaris is supplied by the ulnar nerve. The nerve supply of the deep muscles, flexor pollicis longus, flexor digitorum profundus, and pronator quadratus. These are all supplied by the anterior, by the anterior interosseous branch of the median nerve. In addition to these muscles, there are the nerves on the lateral side. On the lateral side is the radial nerve, which entered in the, cub uh, the cubital fossa and divided into a superficial cutaneous branch and a deep branch. This deep branch courses through the courses through the supinator. This is the supinator muscle and will be seen in the back of the forearm. Coming to the ulnar nerve, ulnar nerve was lying behind the medial epicondyle of humerus where it can be palpated. It passes between the two heads of flexor carpi ulnaris and lies on the medial side of the forearm and enters the palm. In the palm, it lies superficial superficial to the flexor retinaculum and divides into a superficial branch and a deep branch. This ulnar nerve is accompanied on the lateral side by the ulnar artery which is the terminal branch of the which is the terminal branch of the brachial artery. An important branch given by the ulnar artery is the common interosseous which supplies all these muscles. Another artery which is seen in this particular region is the radial artery. Radial artery is again a terminal branch of the brachial artery and it runs on the lateral side of the forearm. Then at, in relation to the wrist, it passes deep to the tendons of the abductor pollicis longus and extensor and extensor po abductor pollicis longus and extensor pollicis brevis and lies in the in the anatomical snuff box which is bounded by extensor pollicis brevis and extensor pollicis and extensor pollicis longus then it passes in between the two heads of the first dorsal interosseous and two heads of adductor pollicis to enter into the palm. The last and the most important nerve in the region of the forearm is the median nerve. Median nerve gives number of branches, number of branches in the cubital fossa to supply the four muscles of the superficial compartment. Then it gives the anterior interosseous, which supply the three deeper muscles. And finally, it finally this particular nerve enters the enters the region of the forearm deep to the flexor retinaculum. And when it gets pressed, as it lies deep to the flexor retinaculum, it, there is a syndrome which is very common and is known as the carpal tunnel syndrome. These are the muscles, nerves, and arteries of the front of forearm.